Yo, 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 what's up everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Plex application on your um, Android, your iOS device, uh, what have you. And I'm show you basically where to find it at and how to, you know, download it and install it. And the basic setup of Plex on uh, your device. So um, right now we're just going to do the mobile version and then I'm going to drop a video with the Windows and show you guys how to do it on desktop. So no further ado, let's just go to the Google Play Store. Let's open it up real fast. No fault for that. All right. And let's just search Plex. All right, so you're going to search Plex. And uh, I already got it installed and set up and things like that. So we just want to, you know, see what the rundown is. What's new with the Plex? Okay, so in 7.2.0 for Android uh, mobile, allow managing users, um, sharing and restrictions, live TV, fix app showing incorrect airing times. Um, you got player. Uh, some devices would produce a uh, stutter audio uh i guess that's wireless oh while while it's in the background okay um player ensure we correctly fall back to transcoding when direct play fails um you got home screen um could incorrectly show items as offline player ensure mov files can be correctly uh, transcoded. So about about Plex, okay? Plex magically organizes your media libraries and um, streams, um, streams them to any device, meaning Roku, your Fire Stick, your Mac, your Apple TV, um, all this, all the all the different streaming media service you got, um, Android TV, all Chrome, uh, Chromecast. You can cast it to a Chromecast, Roku smart tvs any anything all right so you really don't have any you know issues about plex when it comes to the plex application for mobile for your um, tablet for uh your smartphone and smart tvs and android tv boxes and things and that sort so all right so plex brings together all of your favorite media and streams it to any screen big or small all your video music and photo libraries um available along with your preferred podcast web shows streaming music from tidal and online news um delivered um to your android tv like i said fire tv pc mac or android phone which basically i just explained all that okay uh, you can also record free over the air uh broadcast tv including major networks with a compatible tuner and uh antenna Triplex for free. Once again, you can use it for free, but if you want all the bells and whistles, you do that one-time payment of 120 bucks, and Plex is yours for life. All right, it don't matter if you stop using it for a month. All right, you still get all your your bells and whistles from your Plex account when you pay up for 120 bucks. If you want to do month to month, that's fine. If you want to do yearly for 39 dollars, that's fine. But in my opinion, I say invest in Plex. All right, look at look at all the stuff you get. Okay, DVR, TV, tie dial, um, cutting the cord with Plex Pass and Plex Live TV and DVR, um, TV at home or away like NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox with any supported digital antenna and tuner. Enjoy free features like remote access, sharing, security, and casting. Uh, See your media beautifully enhanced with rich descriptions, artwork, uh, ratings, and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll get into that, um, you know, once uh, I open up the application, and then I'll show you what else you can do with your Plex um, products, your Plex services, and stuff like that. You can even create your own Plex server within a cloud drive, and I will show you that application in another video. I will show you hands-on with uh, my my uh, Western Digital um, Cloud Home, all right? So, yeah, full support for subtitles, including SRT, PGS, SSA, and ASS. <laughs> I know that ass, right? I know. <laughs> all right, that, that was just crazy. All right, so you're going to play your movies, your music offline, all right? 
play almost any music file, including MP3, MP, M4A, FLAC, ALAC, and more. PlexPass also shows lyrics and recognizes music. Okay? So the latest update, which was today, August the 19th, 2019. All right? And Plex been around since 2011, uh, according to the app info. All right. So, all right. So now you know a little bit about Plex. If you want to know more, you go here, you go to the main website, you go to the forums, um, Plex TV. Um, they tell you a little bit more about the APKs and things and that sort. You see all these users, man. Like Plex is a big ad Plex forum. You know that that's interesting. Let me let me just add that to my home screen, all right? Because I am a Plex fan, I should be involved in the Plex community, so I am going to do that from now on. All right, so here we are. Um, also, you could just go to. Uh, let's just go home real quick. All right, so let's just open up the Plex app. I hope it doesn't show anything inappropriate. All right, so uh, basically, I'm gonna just use it as guess. See what it does. All right, show you the sign up. I mean, maybe, maybe it's going to show me the setup as brand new. All right, so I hope you don't show anything inappropriate. I know one of my homies, he, he, he got me that porn hooked up for free. <laughs> but yeah, um, I haven't used the guest part, but that's interesting. So let's see if I go home. Okay. Nothing strange, okay? So basically, all right, for, for for you beginners, without adding your media, for, for the Plex application, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have your podcast, you're going to have your web shows, and you're going to have uh, my headline news. You're going to have the latest news, updates, clips, and things and that sort. It's going to give you um, our minute-to-minute -minute updates on what's going on around the world. Um Along with the web shows, uh, what's the latest web shows out right now? Um, so this is what's going on, as you can see, All right? And for your podcast, all this is 100% free. Um, I believe you can download all this. Let me check. Let me see. Okay. Download. Yeah, you can download the show. So you can download the podcast for free. Um yeah, if you if you want to. Now, if you don't want to, see it says download, so it does work. Um, you can play it. You can shuffle it. All right. So and you can add to queue. You can add delete download. Let me delete download. Yeah, someone delete download. I was just showing you guys his preference. All right. So yeah, they got the Breakfast Club. Um, they got all sorts of stuff, man. Um, yeah, so you got the movies section. This might not show anything because it has to show your movie collection. And I'll show you guys how to add your movies and music uh, to your Plex account on the desktop version. So it can sync up to your application. All right, so you got shows. Let me see. Um, so, so this is my first time messing with the guest version. And I guess it's trying to collect everything, whatever. But yeah, so I got the Plex Pass. So I get live TV and DVR. I get podcasts. I get my web shows. I get my news. I get my photos. All that. All right. So keep that in mind. This is what your home screen is going to look like. And you can cast to Chromecast, Roku, what have you. It says no players are found. But you can cast all your information from Plex to your account. All right. So this is basically the basic um, functionality setup of plex on android also you got your your tab for your menu you got download the zinc open file open video file you got your remote access you got settings all right let's check out our looking settings all right so you got experience cinema trailers uh to play before movies and you want to just go straight to the movie say none all right uh, play theme music you can play theme music in the background auto play Play up next videos automatically. That's for your experience. Notifications. Uh, share invitation. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, new um, new item in on deck. Okay. Saying when a new item is added to the library, uh, which causes a user's on deck to change. Okay. 
Um, new content added to the library. It give you notification for that. Um, playback started. Give you notification for that system. New devices. Database corruption detected. Database backed up. All right, so that's what you get for your notification sync. You get used mobile data. Sync used and mobile data if required. Let's do that since I got unlimited data for free. <laughs> Anyways, uh, storage limit. Uh, this is what I got left on my uh, Pixel, about roughly 20 gigs. Okay, so sync storage location. Um, that's what I have roughly available for Plex in my uh, Pixel 17 gigs. All right, so quality, automatically adjust quality. Plex will act, uh, increase or decrease quality based on connection speed requires recent Plex media server. All right, so you want to limit your uh, data. Let's say I want to do 480p, which is standard DVD. All right, let's say 480p, remote streaming. We should go do 480p. All right, standard DVD, home streaming. Now, home streaming, that's different. Use recommended settings. Videos will play at maximum quality. Indeed, because I'm at home. I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm at home. Use low quality on cellular. Yeah. So you want to use up all your data. If you're not on limited data, turn that on. All right. All right. So camera uploads. <laughs> sharing. All right. I'll give you all the information about sharing. Airplay discovery. Search for Airplay. That's that's Apple. Advertise as player. Allows other Plex apps to play content remotely to this device. Indeed. All right. So you got all that. You got advanced. You know, I'm on my Google Pixel. Audio. Uh, audio boost. None. Let's say huge. Huge boost. Want to use boost for audio. Subtitles. Change how you want the subtitles. Player. All right. So you want to pick the player. You prefer Zinc content, uh, H.264 uh, maximum level, audio pass through. Uh, you got optional audio support. Use external player. Play videos using an external application. Let's turn that on because I like using VLC. I also like using MX player. If you guys want me to do a video about VLC and MX player, please leave those comments in the comment section below. All right. So here we go. Allow insecure connections, never. All right, uh, companion and cast. Okay, it's not doing anything. But uh, yeah, this is basically pretty much the setup um, a Plex on Android, um, you know. So, let me see. User, let me see some. All right, let's see some real quick. Let me see if it'll connect to my server. All right. So, yeah, this is my server on my laptop. See, it's got a new update. Let me skip this version. So, these are the latest uh, These are the latest movies and TV shows I have on my uh, Plex server right now. All right. So, this is what you got going on. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I told y'all I had the latest 2019 <laughs> movies as you can see um i do got avengers and i'm getting i'm gonna i'm gonna uh go ahead and grab godzilla i'm gonna add that to my plex but uh as of right now that's what we got we got john week three you know what i mean got that john week three going on i'm just gonna show you a little information uh once it load up um all right so this is what it looks like once you have it on your account i can download it to my pixel the movie is two hours and 10 minutes. Do the math, you know. Uh, it show you the rating, give you more information about the movie. Um, extras, you can rate the movie, watch trailers. Um, okay, let's check out extras. So these are the extras for John Wick 3, all right? So behind the scenes of John Wick 3, things like that, the actors, the directors, the filmmakers. Man, this, this, I'm telling y'all, y'all sleeping on Plex. It's free to use if, you know, you don't want to pay for all the, you know, features and everything like that. You can still put up your, your, your media into this, um, you know, product. But, uh, yeah, so this is what it comes down to, guys. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, let me show you my music library, all right? 
So this is my music library. I haven't downloaded any music um, for live mixtapes yet, but uh, this is the newest music, and some of it's from my iTunes account. Once again, you can plug in your iTunes um, to your to your Plex, and I'll show you guys how to do that on desktop. Once again, you know I got my Jay Z collection, my Ti, um, all that. So you got new stuff, old stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got rock music, got pop, whatever. You know, here we are. And you got you know you can watch videos. Music videos, all that. So, yeah, man, Plex is all that in the bag of chips, man. Um, I definitely recommend downloading Plex on Android, iOS. Um, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what else would you want me to talk about when it comes to Plex? Um, another video coming soon. All right, it's your boy, Two Phones.